Hello everybody, I've just started playing Galactic Science 2 and I've just started the game and this is how we actually see the world so let's get on without further ado see what's actually here so this looks like, oh it's a laser turret with some power in it oh it's increasing power by the looks of it then we have some blocks over here what have we got in here parachute chest oh with a crescent hammer and a jetpack that's nice i shall take that away what have we got down here we've got some jellied corothium nope we've got some blazing corothium get it the right around and here we have some jellied jellied carothium i think it's how it's pronounced so that's going to be useful because it gives us some snow look if i use the right tool taking inventory and these are just some factory blocks from chisel okay let's go inside and see what we've got we have a sort of a turret type thing here and a, and a carpenter's garage door which is nice also we've got a bigger stargate Sh a stargate portal a foundry so what have we got in this foundry here we have one magna crucible basic with nothing in it but it's powered up and it's got uh, enhanced energy cables in here which is quite a lot of power and electric floodlights next room oops we have a skeleton in the base already that is not going to be good actually let's see if we can get rid of this thing you might kill me so i'll have to I haven't got any food yet. Ah, got him. Right. Phew. So what have we got here? An assembly table and be from BC silicon and one laser. Anything in the silicon? Oh, a potato. That's great stuff. Some food. I better make sure I've got more than one food. Here we've got a cryogenic chamber. And if you remember from Galactic Science 1, this took a lot of buildings. So we've got one already. That's fantastic. And here what have we got? A sieve. An auto save and nothing in it oh I can hear some firing going on anyway let's carry on what's this room called so that one was called analyzing labs this one has got no name what have we got in here we've got a pyro pyrotogenic isolator now I think what we can do with this we can put the potato in here so look no, not doing anything. Let's have a look at recipes. Oh, it needs water. I think it needs how much water? And it'll give me three potatoes. Okay, so we need some more water for this. Let's take the potato out. And it's shooting busily again. I'm presuming that's down here. This is the lift, an elevator. Let's go and finish our little ex explore here. Here we've got a magna crucible. And it's a resonant man man crucible, and we got a, lac a gas liquefier with no gas in it. And here we've, we've got some oxygen storage module with nothing in it as well. Okay. Next room. Oh, this one looks interesting. What have we got in here? We have got a oxygen compressor with an oxygen tank in full. That's fantastic. That means we're going to be able to breathe for a little bit of time. Here we've got an oxygen distributor with a bubble on it let's turn this off because this we're going to use this is going to use a lot of um oxygen i think so we'll turn that off first of all what have we got in here an apply an energy acceptor from applied logistics too and we've got some water in here that's great we need some water so we need a bucket first of all to get that out what have we got in here oh we've got a magnet fully charged that is going to be fantastic and we've got some snow and a better questing starter guidebook some clay some energy conduit a fluid tank a quest book I'll have a look at that oh I've got two quest books I only need one uh, and some snow let's have a look what the uses of snow are actually that did work so we can use it in this assembly table to make some coolant cells we can make it some 
just ordinary snow, six of those. We can make a soft block mold, that's uh, pretty good actually, and within that. We can extract it, which we can't do yet, into some snowballs, compress it into ice. Magna crucible will turn it into oxygen gas. Aha! Uh -huh. We can also do cloud seed with snow and clay. And I reckon the other one was also clay, we didn't disappear. Salt. A smell true. Which I don't think is going to be possible. We'll have a look. And then this drill crucible will also make some water out of this 500 milli buckets. And we can then decompose it to four. Which in fact is half a bucket, isn't it? I think four is a half a bucket. Got no enhancement. 226. Doesn't show any enhancements in here. We can convert it to snow again, which is fine. And that's it, I think. And with this one, what do we can use the snow, the ordinary snow for? Let's have a look at that. So we put that into a magnet crucible, we'll get water. Okay, that's fairly important. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll take some snow out of here and let's go and put it in this magna crucible over. So this one we need, no, the other one in the life support room. So that's now getting converted into oxygen. Good. And I thought I disabled that bubble. How's it giving me oxygen? I must have power in it still, huh? Yes, it's still got power in there. Okay. Well, we can live with that for a bit, I think. I suppose it's going to be a big deal. Let's see how much was going on in here. Let's have a look. See, we've got this. This is now being liquefied. And it's got no gas in here yet. So I guess that this is now should be filling up over this side as well. But yes, this is now full of oxygen, so we can actually then replace our tanks. Let's do that before we start to do anything else. Oops, I just threw that one away. Let's turn my magnet on as well. I should try and click that. Pick it up. Let's put the let's do that again now. Let's take swap those over and let's make sure it all chops up, fills up properly. Yeah, that's fine. So we've been through the system here. What have we got in here? Devices online, and there goes the bubble. Okay, good. So it's now run out of power, but it's filling up with oxygen. Smashing. Right. I want to go and have a look upstairs now. Because it's daytime. And what have we got here? Some floodlights pointing outwards and the elevator. We've got we've got some laser turrets already full, owned by Kathleen, and we've got some solar panel six which is actually quite impressive. I wonder how much power they give. Let's have a quick look at solar panel 6. That'll be this one, won't it? So it's generating 4000 RF per tick. Well, we've got four of those, so we've got 24,000 RF. So power is not going to be a problem just yet. And these later turrets, I guess, are protecting the base. Now, I'm going to go try going down. I'm going to be bit brave here go down quickly and then go up again because I've got a feeling there's mobs just under here oh yes look let's quickly go and get this looks like I've got some mob drops around here and it's a bit dark in these corners that's probably why we're getting um, mob being spawned around here. look at all this stuff so that's probably worthwhile doing I reckon as a first thing We've got some lighting in here, but it's obviously not reaching the corners. I wonder if we can go down from here. No, we can't. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got the creeper coming after us. He should get shot. Yes, he has done. And he's dropped another. We'll keep away from those guys. We haven't got anything to shoot them with. Have we got anything in this corner? That's more rotting flesh. Okay. I want to check something as well. These ones. That one's on speed. 
Let's have a look how much power these have got. Oh look, they're spawning us. We're actually down here. Okay, so these have got about 700,000 RF. What's this got? It's got nothing in here at all. And these energy pylons have got nothing in there. What else have we got over this side? I think there's a second. Oh no, there's just one turret, huh? So there's no way of charging this up. So when that runs out, we've got no more. So what I've got to do is light this area up, I reckon, fairly soon as well. And then we've got that. A few bits and pieces from there. It doesn't look like it can reach that corner over there for the for those mobs. Probably because it's blocked by the, the stuff. Anyway, can we go down there? We can't go down. Let's go up. Right. So, now, let's put what we've got into here, first of all. And the next thing we're going to do is we need some snow. I want to make some water. Do I make some water like this? I'm just wondering if I can, what I can do with it. Let's have a look at the quest book for, to start with. Right, quests. So we've got some options in here. Let's have a look at Moon Trance being the first one. That looks like it's it's got some stuff to do in here. The stars align. We've got to maybe, what have we got to make here? Queen up, we won't look at that just yet. Elements. Quick look through there. Crystallize is grayed out. Take flight. Okay, what have we got to do here? Give me fuel. I presume it's making fuel. Improvements. Okay, and transcendence, which is completely empty. Through the f through the f fabric of space and time. Sounds like uh, uh, the Dalek mods back again. So let's start at the beginning. See what we got here. Gather remains. Okay, see, so once one potato, one jetpack, and one crescent hammer. We found all of those, and it will give in return 10 snow. Great, let's detect those and then claim that. It doesn't update here. And let's have a look. Let's escape. And we've got our 10 snow. That's great. Um, next one. And it's shooting again. That's done that one. So that's now opened up these que uh, these quests. What have we got here? Conversion. We have to make an ore conversion table, and we'll get an automatic one in return. Okay, I'll look at that in a second. Next one. We've got to make some more oxygen stuff, and some we get in return three heavy oxygen tanks. That sounds like a good deal. What else have we got to here? So we've got to. What's this? Says? Remember to keep breathing. The base seems to have a life support system. There's a small screen showing ice and snow on it. So we just got to have five snow. I think we could done that already. So let's claim that one and get 20 snow in return. Yes. Next one, farm in a box. And we've got to have a fluid tank configured and incomplete. And we will get 64 phyto grow and one oak sapling. That's thick. Okay, we should have that already. I probably haven't got it on me actually. Let's just make sure it's here. End IO tank configured. Hopefully this is the right one. Um, quests again. Detect. Yes, that's worked. So we get now one oak sapling and 64 proto grow. Done. And last look, let's have a look down here. Stop how much in some moon turf. Now, moon turf, how are we going to get that? I think we're either going to we get a diamond shovel and an unstable induced hammer. It says, woohoo, static noise. I'm sorry, we've just scanned some files in my system in the folder called Glorious 8090. Well, we, meet, we need matter. That means you need to get some matter. Maybe this will help you. Okay, so let's see if we can dig up some moon turf I guess we've got to go outside for that moon turf is this one I don't know whether I can it's oh yes it's craft it's what's it saying effective tool shovel and it's not doing it let's try it with the crescent hammer yes I've got to get 10 of these Hopefully it was turf that I wanted and not uh, 
Anything else? Because we really do need some water. So we need to get a bucket. Seven. Takes quite a long time. I really need to find a way of getting some wood as well. So we've now got our ten. This room's also a bit dark. I wonder what I can do to light that up. So I'll make sure I don't hit that with a crescent home. It might do something strange. We've got 25 snow in here. And we've got this photogram. I'm going to use that in the other machine. And we've got this one. So let's have a look what that gives us. So we can detect that. So we can now claim the hammer and the shovel. Okay, great. And now what does that open up? Nothing seems to matter. So we've now got to get... 64 moon dirt, 64, 128 moon rock and 64 moon turf and that will give us 10. So nothing matters to you. What does it matter? I fear that the mainframe has loaded the wrong data fragments into my core. My communication module is, falling, is failing a lot. Anyway, get more matter. Okay, well, I really do need to eat. I wonder if I can smelt this I wonder if I can find a way of smelting this thing. We'll probably need to sieve some stuff. Is that the same one? Yes, it is. So I need to get some water into here, first of all. So let's go and figure out how we can do that. I reckon we've got to sieve some minerals. So I'm still all right for food at the moment. I'm not desperately desperate. Let's go and pick a hill. Check the time. It's about midday. This will do, I think. Come up here and I've got nice gravity from the Galactic Craft. Let's put these out of the way and then we can see roughly what we've got. Oh, I've got to put that on, okay. That's a standard Tinker's Construct hammer, this one. So let's go and just mine this in a reasonably systematic way to be digging that one. this is a lot easier now with the with a hammer it's an unbreaking hammer so it's not going to lose any durability at all which is also rather nice so what have we got now a load of a bit worried about my food though. It wasn't really too cool having that uh, skeleton in the base. Oh, but I've got some rotting flesh, haven't I? So we come down a bit here and we get some then. So what have we got? Oh got more than enough moon turf so we'll put that out and see if we can get the other stuff now so we need moon rock and moon dirt this is moon dirt good that's nice and fast if you remember if you ever played um, galactic galactic science version one you'll remember that one of the hardest things was iron and i wonder if that's going to be the same in this pack Let's just take that off there. We don't need to go back very far with this. Looks like I've already got enough moon dirt. Yep. So the next one was moon rock. So we need a lot of moon rock as well, don't we? So let's take that from here. It's a bit slower. We need 128 if I remember right now. Hopefully it was mineral I needed more of. And this actually when you're hitting one of these blocks here, the rock itself is faster, it breaks with it. So hitting moon dirt instead of 
moon rock is faster getting there 131 I'm actually picking up the other stuff we'll see what this does in a short while but I do need more moon rock because I'm getting very hungry now and oxygen's okay Ah, that's it. Let's go back to base. I wasn't quite as systematic as I wanted to be, but never mind. Food is a problem. And what we'll do next is we'll have a quick look in the, when we're in the base as to which one of these will help us get metal. Because the first thing I need is a bucket, I reckon, to so be able to take the, the water out of that um, magna crucible and put it into here because we've got basically a magna crucible here haven't we and I've got some snow if I put this snow into here like this that converts to water so we then got some water so I need to get that water out so I'm wondering how to do that let's have a look at the next quest on the book here but let's not do that let's have a look at these let's look at the usage of these okay so I can decorate with it, that's fine. I can convert it to lava. And I can sieve it. And what do we get from sieve it? Aluminium, broken iron ore. Right, let me just detect that quest first of all, because I think I've completed that one. Claim to snow, done. And then it'll take me on to the next quest, which is creating a crucible. But before we do that, we need to get some more food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this 64 into here. Well, that's going fast. Because I need to basically make sure that we've got a new a new sapling and some more potatoes. How's it doing? Oh my goodness, we've already got 11, 12 ores. Let's have a look at the usage of these. That was actually aluminium. Was that aluminium? No, that's iron. So look at the usage of this. So we can then convert that to gravel. And the usage of that one, we can convert that back to three ores. We can smelt it to one iron. We can pulverize it to two iron plus one. We can convert it into a magna crucible into 288. That's two basically two ingots of iron. Okay. And we can hammer it. And we can put it into the smell tree. We're in, in the crucible here which gives us 216 so this industrial crucible furnace is less than the standard magna crucible that's a bit strange okay let's go back now what else can we do with this one we can smelt it to one iron ingot a redstone furnace a magna crucible gives me 216 now that is three of those basically it's cool this is the way to go. Alloy smelter gives us one ingot, a nugget, I mean, which is like, this doesn't make sense, does it? It's like you get one and a half or one and two thirds from the magna crucible. Let's go and put some of this into here. Door. What have we got here? 36. Now the next problem is gonna be, how do we get this out of here? And I can't put it into here because I've done that. Okay, I need to make a furnace. Hopefully I'm not going to die doing this. Oh, I've got some actually. Um, I've got some rotting flesh. Let's. I'm going to have to eat rotting flesh to start with. I hate to do this. But at least it's going to keep me alive for a bit longer. Right. So we need to build a furnace. Let's have a look at that quest line again. So we need a crucible, which will help. What else have we got that we can do in this one? Call it timber. So we've now got to make 10 oak wood. So this little box seems to be able to grow trees. Is there some kind of pocket dimension in it? I'm not quite sure what that means. But we'll get 32 oak wood and 10 rich pritons. So how do we make oak wood? Obviously we grow trees, but I know for a fact that trees, if you plant a tree here, it'll die. So we don't want to do that. So let's have a look at um, 
what we can do with wood. Let's find some wood. How do we make oak wood? Wait, it's oak wood. Actually, probably better if I typed in oak wood, wouldn't it? That should be oak. Yes. So, right. We get it from questing rewards. That's good. We can get it from Yu Mato, which is no way starting that yet. We can put one sapling in here. Yeah. Oak sapling with some rich pritro juice, and that will give us with some water. How much water does it need? An oak sapling. We'll give us one and a half oak saplings back and three pieces of wood. Okay, that's fairly good. But that looks like rich. We've got standard pritro that's right. So we're going to need to have ten of these, but we get some more. We have a good chance of saplings. So, next problem. I'm going to put. I do need some iron. So, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's do this. Put that into here. What do we get out of this? This is moon dirt. So, we're getting some stone bits. Okay, that's going to be good. Let's put some moon dirt into here. I don't know how many we're going to need. Oh, we've got another potato. Ah, oh, great. Some broken gold, some broken silver, lead, nickel, bone meal, copper, aluminium. 54, that might do. Let's have a look, what can we do with this? I need to make a furnace, basically. Let's go and see if we can make a furnace. That's 14, that's great, we can do a furnace with that. So we need a bucket, that's the most important thing. Let's go and put this furnace in this foundry over here. So we need 27 pieces of iron to do that. We've just about got enough. We've got no fuel, oh, see we've got fuel actually. Let's put those into there and get some fuel. Okay, what fuel have we got? And of course we have got fuel. We've got blaze rods. Let's take a couple of these, put those into there. I don't know how many this is going to smelt with one blaze rod, but we'll find out in a minute. Because I've got the water in here. How much have we got in here? One and a half buckets. I really should have a... Oh, actually, I can't get this out of here, can I? I need something else. I need a... Well, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Maybe we have to break it to get the water out of here. I'll think about that. So we've got some iron nuggets in here now and actually that blaze rod does seem to be lasting quite a long time so we'll leave it in there and can see what else we've got i'm probably going to sift some more stuff while i'm waiting got some more moon rock in here we've got a diamond already that's pretty good what's this compressed coal oh actually i probably could be using the coal instead of the um let's take that out of there let's do that is that iron down there i should be getting a lot more iron than we did in the previous version of this game. Well, Galactic Science 1, that is. I'm going to see if I, if I break this machine. Not harvestable. I need a pickaxe. I haven't got a pickaxe yet. I've got a hammer. So it works with a hammer. I need to get the water out of here, I think. Yes, I can use this hammer on it. Hopefully it doesn't do anything nasty to it. Nope. Now, do I lose the materials from here? Oh, I've got a tank, of course. Yes. Aha! I just had a brainwave. A tank, a fluid tank. If I put the fluid tank here, will that actually fill it in? Let's have a look. So we need some more snow, we've got plenty of snow in here, let's just make some snow, like this. That'll give me three buckets worth, I think. Because we did six last time, didn't we? Let's put this into here, like this. Oh, it's gone out of here, and it is in this tank, fantastic. So, shift right click this with this. So now I've got that. 
And let's go along here and then put this into pro into this growing machine over here. Oh, I've got its right place. I've got that space on the side here. That's now going into here. So now we should be able to put the oak sapling into here and see what we get some wood. It's fairly slow. So if you get 216 from there, that's a really good, actually it's a really good start. And we've got another sapling, but only one. Hopefully we'll get enough wood. In fact, actually once we've got one piece of wood, we're okay. So what can we do with the rotting flesh, by the way? Usage of this. We can make a head. We can make an enchanted book. Two enchanted books. Okay, we can got some shape crafting, shapeless crafting to make dirt, to fill the tin, magma crystal will make blood of course, yes that's standard stuff, vat to make nutrient distillation, yes, and we can use the enchanter to enchant it into smite, okay, we can use it in the composting barrel to make some dirt, and we can dry it on a drying rack to give us some tinker's construct jerky, that's probably a good start as well. We can smelt it again, make it into more blood, at five million buckets, not very much. And we can make it into this stuff. Oh, that's quite good. Nodularin, we've got 41 copper, 60 hydrogen, 8 nitrogen and 10 oxygen. That's a fairly good way of using this one, but a 5% chance. So the chances are of getting none. And we can make it into a workbench, we can do a spawner controller but two nether stars no way that's going to happen for a while and then we've got a centrifuge recipe turning this into methane cells okay don't know what that does and we're back to the beginning again where's that ah oh yes just didn't show up and this is working again we've still only got our one sapling which isn't very good for gun we've got uh, a one and a half time chance of 150% Here we go again. So what I'm going to do with this, let's have a look at the uses of wood. All sorts of bits of cutting it up, pulverizing it, saw milling it, sag milling it, hammer. In fact, the hammer doesn't work. We can make a QED recipe for a magnum, magnum touch, that's good. And chemical decomposition, so we get cellulose. And the uses of cellulose, I've got that one. It uses the fuel. How much does it give us, in fact? Does it say? Normally it says, but not in this case. We can transpose it and chemical, we can decompose it to the basics. And what can we synthesize it? So we can actually get some wheat and some planks. Or different types of planks. And we can get starch. We can't do this yet, of course, because we haven't got. We can make some more birch. We can make birch wood from from eight, which is what it's equal, isn't it? So that's not too bad. And we can make paper from it, slabs, potatoes, with some potassium and some water, and some leaves. You can make all sorts of saplings as well. This is good. Different types of saplings. Bookshelves, planks, and grass blocks. Okay, so that's also so that's silicon dioxide, by the way, decomposed. What else can we do with it? Look at the bucket, enchant it, and then we're back to the beginning again. Okay, actually, let's get this. We need ten of these, don't we? So we need to get this one going again. Still haven't got a, a second sapling. That's very weird. And run out of water run out of water okay so we need some more water I'm going to quickly whip downstairs here oh, there's quite a few mobs over there let's go and see what's happened over here oh, yeah, some more blaze rods it's a bit of a risk doing this oh 
I'd like to get rid of those mobs. I'm not sure how to yet. So every time that thing fires, can they see me? He's looking at me, but doesn't seem to be. Oh, he's just tracking me all right. Let's go anyway. So. I'll try that. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed episode one. I'm running out of oxygen and I'm running out of food. So I'll see you next time if I survive. Until then, bye for now. Oops. Oh, I've got no, got no buttons on this, have I?